Budgetary extravagance or nutritional necessity. That's the battle now about Meals on Wheels, which provides food to thousands of senior citizens in this area and more than two million nationwide. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch profiles one Meals on Wheels recipient who is not alone in how he feels about the program. Dennis Combs is delivering food to a senior citizen's high rise in Avondale, specifically to one senior, 63 year old Stephen Garner, who has diabetes. His many medications are lined up on a counter. I need the program. I have seven different meals, okay. one a day, and this man comes every Monday. Uh, I have, uh, that's a, I have a, a menu here. Delivery man Combs is with Wesley right. Community right. Services, a Meals on Wheels oh, provider. Yeah. Today, yeah, council yeah, members Chris Seelbach and Yvette Simpson are here too. They do this visit every year, but with Meals on Wheels potentially in the budgetary crosshairs of President Donald Trump, the council members and Wesley Services leaders say more is at stake. The funding that we're talking about here today represents a huge part of our budget. Without those funds, we wouldn't be able to serve the 2,500 clients that we serve every year. These are assorted meals, ladies and gentlemen, and they're all diabetic. They're all diabetic. The meals and yeah, snacks so are based on each client's individual needs. If Wesley didn't service me, I would be in trouble for some reason. I have to, every four hours, I got to have something in my system. I have to take my blood sugars, and my blood sugar regulates what, when I eat. Stephen Garner is just one tiny piece of the national budgetary debate, but he may speak for many. Please, us seniors need this program. We should point out that there is no federal budgetary line item for Meals on Wheels, so the president's budget does not directly cut those dollars. However, the president does want to eliminate community development block grants, and that's where some places get Meals on Wheels funding. However, in our area, the money comes from a different federal source, so this whole thing is kind of uncertain until the final federal budget proposal comes out later this year. Back to you. Jeff, thanks very much. There are several Meals on Wheels providers in the region. The largest is Cincinnati Area Senior Services, which delivers 1,200 meals a day. That added up to more than 300,000 meals in 2016.